Hey, Larry Becker here, and I want to tell you about a light that I really love, and it's one that I use in my studio every day. It's this Westcott Solix LED light. Now, a part of my career years ago included tons of camera reviews and gear reviews. I did it for around five years, and I have millions of views on the B&H and Kelby One YouTube channels all about those reviews. And whenever I did full-blown reviews, I would go through everything that any user might want to know. I'd get all kinds of accessories and attach them. I'd set up all kinds of testing scenarios. But for this video, not digging that deep. I just want to tell you how I use this light and why I like it. First of all, it's a daylight balanced light. That means the color temperature is rated at 5600 degrees Kelvin. And like all my other Westcott lights, the CRI is really high. So it means that that daylight balanced accuracy is going to be there. Now, all the lights in my studio and all the lights in my travel kit are daylight balanced lights. So that means that they're going to be consistent with one another. I just do simple business videos for myself and my clients, and I'm not making indie films where I have to do precision lighting or match lighting or anything like that. But if you do need a warmer look on this light, I have no problem with that at all. I'll just tape some CTO gel right on there. And because it's a cool light, I'm never worried about the CTO gel getting too hot or melting or anything. Now this light is super easy to use. Let me show you, there's a brightness dial on the back, so this is the brightness dial, and if you just push it, that turns it on. And then you just dial in how bright you want it to be. And it gets really bright, it's crazy. The interesting thing is the numbers go from one to 100, but that's not percentages. It's not 1% brightness. It already starts off pretty bright, and then you dial it up to 100, that gets you the brightest amount. But the nice thing about that is, if you have some sort of setup and you know yeah, I used it in that scene in that spot at 57. You can always go back to that. Now, it also comes with a diffusion cap. So let me show you that. This is the diffusion cap. And the nice thing about it is it's not hard to mount or unmount. Check this out. They have magnets in here. So it's super easy to just put it there and it stays. And the magnets let you take it off whenever you want. It also comes with a set of barn doors high quality professional barn doors and magnets, of course. Super easy. In fact, it couldn't be easier. And this is sturdy stuff. And the other nice thing about these barn doors is they're the professional kind where you can actually shape the light exactly the way that you want. Now, the other thing that this Solix has for mounting is an integrated speed ring. It's compatible with all kinds of softbox mount systems, and it can hold up to four and a half pounds of softbox weight. Hang on a minute. I'm starting to do one of those reviews. I don't even use the speed ring. Let me tell you why. It's because all my light modifiers are umbrella style modifiers. They're either Westcott Apollos, or I use umbrellas quite a bit, or the two things that came with this, the diffusion cap and the barn doors. Now the Solix has a little shaft in here for the umbrella mounts. So take an umbrella like this, just put it right in here. Couldn't be easier. And the umbrella mount is actually part of this top assembly. So if you tilt the light forward or backward, the umbrella mounted device is going to tilt with it. Let me show you this ergonomic knob. It's actually kind of cool because this knob is easier to use than a lot of those little slim knobs. I really like how nice it is, but check this out. More than 180 degrees travel. So this light can be pointed whatever direction you want. You can lock it down really easily with this knob. And the knob has, I wish a lot of my gear had this kind of knob. Now, a few weeks ago, I needed to update my headshot. So I used the Solix as my main light. Then I gave my Canon 6D to my wife to have her shoot it. Now keep this in mind. My wife is not a photographer at all. So she was really shy about even holding the camera. I set the camera up with a fast shutter speed, so I needed a lot of light. The Solix Constant Lights made it super easy for her to see what the picture was gonna be like. They were at full brightness. Now the Solix actually comes with this zippered travel case. It's padded, it's really easy to, it was really easy to take everything out and set it up. And it was also really easy to pack everything away anytime I travel. There's only one thing in this whole kit that I couldn't just plug it in, turn it on, figure it out right away. 
and I hate to admit it, but it's the power strap. You know, the power brick? So this is the power brick. Every light setup that plugs into AC has something like this. But what's really nice is this, it took me a little while to figure out, but now I can strap this onto any light stand that I have. And I just leave it on there permanently. I pack it away in the bag whenever I'm traveling. No problems at all. As a mostly video guy who does some photography, this light is ideal. It travels well. The barn doors and diffusion cap are great. It runs cool, it plays nice with my umbrellas, and I've never had any flicker issues like you might get with some LEDs when I do my video work. The Solix is versatile for video stuff and plenty bright for the types of things that I shoot, like product shots and even that portrait that my wife took. But depending on how you shoot portraits, you might want a kit with some more brightness and a couple of lights as part of that kit. Of course, Westcott has kits with the Solix light and multiple soft boxes. If you're in the market for a constant light and things like color accuracy, versatile mounts, simple setup, and easy packing for travel are important to you, you want to check out the Westcott Solix.